I don't care how dark it looks for you. I don't care what they done said to you. I don't care what the verdict is. I don't care what the haters say. It ain't over. No matter what happens to you, it ain't over. Ain't no such a thing as over. Do you know, man, that you can actually mess your life completely up? You can jack it all the way up and you can turn around and get it right. Do you know that you can be divorced multiple times and still be okay? Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. You just got to quit tripping while you're in the process because the process is necessary. You may not see it now, but when he gets you on the other side of it, you're going to see exactly why it went that way. And you're going to be okay with it. We all live in this bubble. What you got to do to get the life that God wants you to have, you got to put more air in your bubble. Expand yourself. You got to blow your bubble up. Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. You know, you can actually change the direction of your life. You know, you actually have a say-so in how your life goes. Life is not designed where you just wake up and see how it go and you react. You actually have a say-so. You have a determining voice into where your life can go. You have no say-so in what happens to you, but you have a say-so in what you do about it. You gotta get real doggish. You gotta get downright funky if you wanna make it. Now, like I was telling you before, if you wanna be ordinary, you ain't even gotta listen to me. Just go on about your business. If you think ordinary is cool, ain't no problem. It's some really, really wonderful ordinary people. But if you are sitting in this room and you have extraordinary aspirations, then you're gonna have to do extra. See, life is 10% what happens to you. It's 90% what you do about it. I'm sorry, but here's the fact. All of you have extraordinary capabilities, all of you. You put extra on top of extra, uh, on ordinary and you come up with extraordinary. It's no other way. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category. Rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. That's a third of your life. It ain't but 24 hours in a day. You cannot be sleep eight hours a day. You can't live in LA and wake up at eight o'clock in the morning. It's 11 o'clock on the East Coast. The stock market been open two hours. They already making decisions about your life and your will sleep. Pull yourself together and quit tripping because you in the process. God is processing you. He ain't through with you. If he was through with you, you would not wake up in the morning. The hard work and the struggle that you face now is the main ingredient for who you'll become tomorrow. Now, whatever you've been through, whatever that is, guess what? You're still here. You have a great life in front of you. But your great life is in front of you. It's not behind you. And let me tell you, when you've been through pain, when you've fought for where you are, you ain't gonna let anyone take away what you've got. When you've earned it and paid your dues and failed and suffered and been down, been hurt, and you get back up, when pain and struggle comes to face you again, you look it in the face and stand it down. Because you've been through too much. You're too strong now. Everything that has happened to you up until this point has made you who you are. Don't do that. When they tell you you're not going to make it, don't believe them, man. Don't believe them. You've got to be relentless. Don't believe them. When you're thinking about giving up, when you feel like giving up, when it look like you ain't going to make it, keep going. When they tell you you can't, come on, man, who are they?
when they tell you to put all your stuff back on your desk. Don't do that, man. This will fill you with confidence and you'll start carrying yourself differently. You'll start looking at the world differently. You'll start talking differently, walking differently. Because you ain't no longer the person you are. You're the person you've always wanted to be. But you've got to believe in you. And I'm saying to you, what if all of us took that attitude after we face a rejection and a no or we have a meeting and no one shows up or somebody say you can count on me and they don't come through. Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win.